Hello students, I am Sonia Augustin and I welcome you once again to the English class. I hope you are all keeping fit and fine students. So today we will continue with the lesson the 12 months. Last time I told you all about the story of Marukula, very kind hearted gentle girl and no one would like her. Especially she had a stepmother and a sister and that stepmother would treat her very badly. Murukula was supposed to do all the work of the house and she had an other sister called Holina and Holina would not want to do any kind of work in the house. This mother and daughter was so fed up of Murukula that they wanted to throw her out of the house. So what did they do? They decided that they should take her and tell her to go to the forest and to get violets. Now that day it was there was a lot of snow and the weather was very bad but then too Holina made a plan and she told Murukula that she wanted her to go and bring violets. Now it was very difficult for Murukula to go but when Murukula told her that she wouldn't be able to go Holina got very angry and she told her how dare you say that you will not go go at once or I'll kill you poor Marukula she did not know what to do and so she decided to go the, the stepmother also caught hold of this poor little child Marukula and threw her out of the door and slammed the door she literally banged the door behind her what happened was this poor Marukula went to the forest and she was crying bitterly. She did not know what to do. The snow was also very much over there. She was scared that she would get lost. But she knew that she could not go back home because if she went back home, it would have been a very bad thing. And her stepmother and Holina would have actually killed her. So she decided that she would try her luck. Now she wandered for a long time and this poor child in the cold weather, she was hungry and she was trembling but there was no one to be seen. At last she saw a light in the distance. She went towards the glow which came from the top of a mountain. Now when she saw suddenly she saw a light and she decided to just go towards it and when she went towards it, it she saw that it came from top of a mountain. Students you can underline this word distance for the spelling so that you can learn spellings. You can underline mountain, you can underline glow. Glow means when it shines with a light. A big fire was burning there. And around the fire were 12 stones with 12 men sitting on them. So when she saw the light, she went towards it. When she saw that there was a big fire burning there. And not only that, there were 12 stones. And on those 12 stones, 12 men were sitting. Three of them had snow white beards, three were not so old and three were still younger. So she went and she saw them. The picture is over here. See, here was this big, this fire which she had seen. This is Murukula. These are the 12 months whom she sees and now she has reached to this place. This is what she reached to. I am repeating again, the bright burning fire, these are the 12 people or the 12 months whom she sees and this year, this tiny little thing over here is Murukula. Come back to the chapter. She, sorry, the three youngest were the handsomest of them all. Can, you can underline youngest, you can underline handsomest. Handsomest is looking very, very good. 
they were not speaking but all sitting silent when she went there she saw that none of them were speaking anything they were all sitting silent you can underline silent students if you want to these 12 men were 12 months you know what are your 12 months january february march april may june july august september october november december these are your 12 months so all these 12 men who were sitting all these 12 men they were the 12 months you are always used to seeing months in the calendar right so these are the 12 months they were sitting down over there great january sat highest of all january being the first month january so this january was very great and he sat highest of all his hair and beard were as white as snow and in his hand he held a club so a club is like a stick kind of so great january was sitting over there and his hair and beard were as white as snow and in his hand he held a club murkula was frightened students you can underline frightened now can you imagine this poor girl tortured with hunger and trembling with cold she comes over there to that place and she sees that these 12 men sitting down over there and she is so scared of everything she is so frightened she stood still for a time in terror terror means she was very scared but growing bolder she went up to them and said please kind sirs let me warm my hands at your fire see students even though she was a very small girl she was very scared also but she took courage growing bolder she took courage she went up to them and she said let me warm my hands so that she would feel little better and what word does murukula use please so whenever you want something from someone students always use the word please it shows good manners so what does she say please kind sirs let me warm my hands at your fire because the weather was very very cold you know in cold season even when you all sit down and then you know your hands get turned very cold and then you feel oh i wish there was something very hot then you'll wear your sweaters and you put your hands inside your sweater and then you like that feel when it is warm same thing she was it was snowing over there and she asked their permission to go and warm her hands at the fire great january nodded and asked her why have you come here my dear little girl what are you looking for now great january was very surprised when he saw this child he started wondering the weather is so bad it's snowing nobody is there and what is this small girl doing in that place so very kindly he tells her why have you come here my dear little girl see how wonderfully great january talks to murukula i am looking for violets answered murukula there is no time to be looking for violets for everything is covered with snow answered great january now it was very funny because great january says the whole place is covered with snow so how are you going to get violets it is something next to impossible yes i know but my sister holina and my step mother said that i must bring them some violets from the forest if i don't bring them they'll kill me tell me fathers please tell me where i can find them so what does she say she says marukula says if i don't bring them they'll kill me 
So we understand that Morukula was very scared and she says, please. See, again she is using a very kind word. She says, please. See, students, when you want something, you have to learn to say please. Please tell me where I can find them. So Morukula was in a desperate situation, desperate. And she wanted to find the violets anyhow. But how could she do it? So students, we will do till year only. In the next class, we will see whether Murukula was able to get the violets or no. Till then, we will do a quick recap of the chapter. Last time only, I told you students that this is a story which took, away, took place in a faraway country. Now here, there was a mother who had two children. One was the real daughter, that was Holina. And the other one was... The stepdaughter, that was Marukula. The stepmother did not like Marukula because Marukula was very, very beautiful. So they wanted to get rid of her. So they told her to go into the forest and get violets. Since it was the cold season and there was a lot of snow over there, Marukula was not wanting to go. But Holina and the stepmother forced her and threw her out of the house and told her not to enter till she would not get the violets. Poor Marukula, tired and tortured with hunger, she finally reached out in the snow. She did not know what to do. And suddenly she saw a light in the distance. And when she went there, she saw that from the top of a mountain, there was a big fire burning. And around them, there were 12 stones and 12 people sitting on them. These were the 12 months. Then she goes and very kindly she asks if she could warm her hands near the fire. On seeing her, great January felt very bad and asked her, Why Marukula? Why have you come here? And she tells them the sad story of how her stepmother and Holina wanted her to get the violets. Now we have done till there and she also asked the great January to help her. Now if great January helped Marukula or no, if Marukula was able to go back to the house and give the violets, that we shall see in the next class. Thank you so much students. Take care. Stay safe.